And then the co-main event, I mean, probably the best fight of the night. That was, they could fight every Saturday. Take my goddamn money. Dustin Poirier, legend. As Dana said, this is what makes you a legend. Taking fights like this, when all signs, underdog, all signs point to this, the end of his career. This makes, why is he doing this? Even I, I love the diamond. I love the best hot sauce. Bourbon's fantastic too. I love Dice, Dustin Diamond Poirier. Love him. He's one of my favorite people of all time. The best. Legend. But why ben, Benoit St. Denis? Why would you do this? And then that first round, you're like, all right, this, I thought this was going to go one of two ways. Well, a, the most likely odds, and this is why B, BSD was the favorite. BS, it's just BSD's time. Dustin Poirier's long in the tooth. Father Time's ca caught up to him. BSD's the stronger, bigger puncher, better grappler. He's going to walk. He's going to steamroll Dustin Poirier. That first round, you get, you're like, okay, yeah, this is not good. Poirier looked tired. You're like, shit, what are we doing? And then you see why Dustin Poirier took the fight. You see why for a guy to go from Benoit, from Matt Perola to Dustin Poirier is a huge jump. You saw his inexperience come to play. He's sitting there playing rock'em, sock'em robots with a UFC legend who's not over the hill. He still punches like a Mack truck. You saw him have success, and he's just sitting in front with his chin up, and you're like, that ain't smart. Now, granted, Poirier kept jumping for the guillotine, which I wasn't mad at. Black belt, his and Benoit St. Denis, the neck was there. I'm with Dustin Poirier, like, let's get this dude out of here. The next there, especially at his level, jump for it. Everyone was like, why does he keep doing it? It was there, man. BSD, just a fantastic grappler, found you know found a way to finagle out of it. But that eventually he was going to get him, I think, with the choke if he didn't knock him out. That was there. So I get why he kept doing it. I'm, I'm not one of those guys like, why did he keep – it was there. It was there. His neck was there all fucking day. But then you see why when a guy like BSD jumps up in competition – Oh, you can't just sit in front of the guy and play rock'em, sock'em robots. You're going to get knocked out. And that's what happened. That's when you're like, oh, there it is. That's why they don't jump guys in the queue like that. That's why. BSD looked good, but then you're like, oh, man, this." it was just a matter of time. I looked at my wife. We're all watching. Like, oh, he's going to get knocked out. You sit in front of Dustin Poirier like that? You're gonna get this is what he does. This is why he took the fight. I thought Poirier was going to knock him out in like third, fourth, fifth round. I thought this would happen. They'd have an exchange against the cage. You'd knock him out later in the rounds. Not this early. I didn't think, B and the pace BSD set was wild. Take my money, dude. Take my goddamn money. If that's how this guy fights, I'm a fan. Yeah. I'm in. I'll watch his next fight. He didn't, he didn't lose any credibility. He molly whopped Poirier in that first round. So he is the guy. He just made a lot of immature mistakes in the second round has a lot to learn he'll learn he'll learn you can't do that with the guys like that you just can't you're having so much success success grappling and then you just decide to trade with dustin poirier who has way tighter boxing way crisper boxing loves the exchange there have you never seen the guy fight you shouldn't sit in front of him and exchange oh i'll take dp all day what a fight dude Take my goddamn money. So much fun, yeah. God, dog, that was good. I want to ask you a question. Like, when Dustin Poirier does that right hook, his turn, fist is like kind of like, not like this, but no, it's like this, it's, right? It's, yeah, you're, you're, think of it holding an old school mug. Uh -huh. It's like this. That's where all, and that's where you can snap down. Do you do that as well when you fight? That's, that's a proper hook. Oh, Most okay. hooks should be like you're holding, it should be like this. And you see him, because you can, because this you can't really turn over. This you can turn over. Oh, okay. So it's like holding an old school bear mug. <laughs> Boom. That's a good analogy. Yeah, that's an analogy there. Yeah. So when you're hitting the pack, they show you like you're holding a mug. Boom. And turn over. And you just see him just turn it over. Whack. Yeah. Fantastic. It was beautiful. Oh, man. my God. That was good. And the shout out to all the military. Dude. Dude. Charity. He does. <sighs> he's the best. Best guy in the UFC. <laughs> That just the t I mean, job. What a gem. Yep. <laughs> the diamond. What nice. a gem. And his new tat, dude. Oh, the, the king. King of diamonds. King of diamonds, bro. I wish it was in black. Whatever. Same, dude. dude. I, I wish it was black. Yeah. I don't like red tattoos. You can't see it. <laughs> Hard to see. Mm. God, dog. Best fight of the night. Yeah, it was so much fun to watch. 
And so my son was at a birthday party, right? I dropped him off at five. Pause the prelims, drop him off. I go, when do you need me to pick him up? They go, eight o'clock. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, it's the middle of the main card. Okay, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. So my girl's family, all the Mexicans are over, right? We got food, we got food, we got food popping, right? We got food. It's yeah. like goddamn Cinco de Mayo at my house. And so I get a text from uh, the dad. He's like, hey, yeah, we're shutting down. Time to go. I'm like, oh, okay. Right when uh, Michael Venom Page and Kevin Holland walking out. So I pause it. And was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I go pick up Tiger. Whoever doesn't like it can leave, but I'm, I'm not missing this fight. I'm pausing it. I'll be back in 10 minutes. I was back in about 30 because Tiger was swimming, had to dry him off, do all the <laughs> shit. I get back. They're not happy. Whatever. So then I can only get my phone at all. So I was just texting my brother. I'm like, don't tell me what happens. So I watch Mike Venom Page, Kevin Holland. He goes, where are you at? I go, I'm fast. Uh, I was fast forwarding through everything. Everything. Like the walk. I through, just to catch up before someone texts me the results. Nothing worse. Callum fucked it up for me on something else, but whatever. <laughs> So my brother goes, where are you? I go, just getting ready to watch DP and uh, BSD. And he goes, don't want to spoil it for you. Insane fight. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait. I knew it. I fucking knew it. And even with that pre-hype, it still outshined the hype. It was, I mean, can they fight every Saturday? God, dog, that was, that was fighting at its finest. A young French lion versus a old vet like dp and he gets it done yeah oh god <laughs> best sport on the earth man best fucking sport on the earth 